We all know that self-control is difficult. We know that there is going to be obstacles along the way if you are trying to abstain from alcohol. We know there is going to be social pressure to drink. We are trying to stick to a strict exercising regimen. We know that there is going to be days when we just can find the strength to hit the gym. And if you are trying to stick to a diet that avoids fatty foods, we know sometimes there is a plate of french fries in front of you and you can't get over it. It's not like I'm speaking from experience or anything. What do you do when you know that the road to reaching your goal is going to be hard? You are on a journey to weight loss, diet, exercise, all those things that you want, but I'm telling you now, it's going to be hard to reach. And you know it yourself, that's not an easy road. What do you do? The answer is simple to stay optimistic. Research has shown that when we are motivated to do well, we make more optimistic predictions about our abilities to reach those goals. And in turn, this is important. These optimistic predictions, if you will, our diligent pursuits of those goals. In other words, when we are motivated to do well, we think we can accomplish a lot. And when we think we can accomplish a lot, it actually motivates us to reach those goals right by knowing and understanding that you do have it in you. You have the strength to overcome these temptations. That optimism can sometimes help you overcome the obstacles that are bound to come across you. By contrast, when people are motivated to be really rational and accurate about their likelihood of overcoming future obstacles, they make less optimistic predictions. In other words, if you are the type of person who thinks, well, I shouldn't get too excited about my exercising regimen, realistically, I probably will only hit the gym one time every week then you are going to have a way less optimistic outlook and the research shows that the less optimistic outlook ultimately produces less effort when it comes to pursuing the goal if you only think that you will actually hit the gym once a week then that's going to get in the way of ultimately reaching your long-term fitness goals. So the lesson is pretty simple. When you are considering the difficult road ahead, be optimistic about your ability to meet those challenges. You might find that you become especially motivated to reach that goal. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below. Give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.